Hello, everyone. Uh, my slide has three components. Top left is my slide from last year. I work on the political content of stand-up comedy and how it affects audiences' political beliefs. The rest of the slide is uh, progress uh, since last year. So one of the findings of my research is that 25% of people think that comedy shapes their political beliefs. 50% state that comedy helps them develop much needed perspective on issues. And that's important, let's keep this in mind, perspective on issues. The second part, under model, we see two concentric circles. Uh, imagine them as spheres, like the public sphere. And we're in that sphere, you know, the sphere of collective knowledge where we all know things together. Now, in that sphere um, are basically all the things that we know. Uh, in our society, we have the mass media, television, radio, newspapers, and apps, and they all convey information. Day by day, there is a steady flow of words and images that are designed to capture our minds in the interest of a product, of a service, or of an idea. We all know this. If we just turn on the tube or turn on the radio or scroll through our Facebook, everything there is there to persuade us. Now, according to theorists and experts, this constant flow of information has an effect. And the effect that theorists, they call it the sphere of general and critical consensus. That's kind of the effect of this big array of information that we get every single day. And it's normal that the effect is uh, the general and critical consensus because, let's face it, there's so much information out there, we can't critically analyze all of it, so we just go with it. We end up taking it for granted. Now, this phenomenon of taking things for granted is especially apparent in comedy. When we watch comedy, our typical reaction when a comedian successfully tackles a political or a social issue, our typical reaction is, ha ha ha, that's so true. I never thought of that before. Well, I never thought of that before because I was in the sphere of general and critical consensus on that issue. And the comedian tackled that issue from outside, much like Chris Rock during the Oscars. He tackled the issue that the Oscars are so white, Oscars are so white, and he made fun of it. So he poked that issue with you know, his usual torpedo of truth. However, in comedy, we have many, many comedians and many takes on many different issues. They're all disorganized and scattered. We have, to, we have some comedians talk about these issues, other comedians talk about other issues. What if we could organize all that content? What if we could bring all that content together in a systematic way, make it easily accessible? All the data that I'm working on in my research will not only make a thesis, but will also be put into an app that you can use to challenge your idea on a certain given topic. And the app I'm creating is called Dehype because that's precisely what the app is gonna do. It's gonna help you look at things from a different perspective and in a funny way. Thank you.